At the end of section 3.12, Jackson showed the identity after comparing the green function um, for uh, a, inside a box in two forms. One is uh, expanding in all three coordinates. One is just expanding in two coordinates. So, and the identity is, is this, so cinch, and this is KLM, C smaller, then cinch, KLM, C minus C greater, divided by KLM, cinch of KLM times C, equals to 2 over c sum of n from 1 to infinity sine of n pi z pi over c sine of n pi z over c divided by k l m square plus n pi over c square Okay, so this is the identity, and the form of this identity looks like a Fourier series because uh, this is sum over n from one to infinity and multiplied by this sine term. So this is a Fourier sine series, and this is the function to be expanded. So uh, this c plus a uh, c greater c minus is comparing c and c prime. So whichever is largest is c greater than whichever smaller is C, smaller, okay? So, and so Jackson didn't uh, show how you uh, get this Fourier series, how to, how to check whether this is correct. So, uh, so I'll show it here. So basically this is a, uh, a Fourier series that, com that with uh, a amplitude is two over C and multiplied by this. So two over C multiplied by this is can be considered as the amplitude of this Fourier series. So um, then you can use the amplitude formula to check whether this is uh, this is indeed the case. So two over c, and then the sine n pi c pi over c divided by this k l m square plus and pi for c square. So this is the amplitude uh, that's supposed to given be given by the formula, amplitude formula. So it's t two for c integrating c to c, and then uh, this function. So this function is sine. I actually cinch. Klm. C smaller, cinch, KLM, C minus C greater, and multiply by the basis, so it's, so it's sine, N pi C over C, and then this, the, the function to be expanded, there's a, KLM cinch, KLM times C, there's another constant in this, oh, the function. So all together is there and there's integrating Z. All right, so this is, uh, suppose that this is, uh, you need to check, show that this integral give you that. And there's a two over C of both sides can cancel that, uh, this factor and then the denominator is actually a constant and you can multiply to the other, other side. And we can actually simplify the notation when we check the integration instead of writing that many things, we can just define K as KLM and then the alpha is uh, defined as N pi over C and in fact, uh, K, KLM doesn't, uh, Whatever the value of KM doesn't matter as long as it's a constant.
here, and, but alpha is important because you require sine alpha times c must be zero because alpha times c is just n pi, so sine n pi is zero. So these are, we can simplify by the changing the notation. So what you need to check is this, so multiply this to the other side, you have k times uh, sinh k times c, and then sinh of alpha z pi divided by this uh, k square plus alpha square. Need to check whether it is uh, equals to whatever the uh, integral. Okay, so the integral now I change this integral to zero to c and sinh of k times c smaller and sinh of k times c minus uh, c greater multiplied by sine over c dc. Okay, so we need to check whether this is given by this, uh, the result is this. So this is uh, uh, actually not a very difficult integral to do, although it takes a, a few, uh, takes a few lines of uh, calculation to show that and you need to be careful because of this greater and smaller notation. So it means that uh, the whole integra integration of from c is from c zero to c need to be set, set separated into two ranges. So one is from zero to c pi, and the other is c pi to c, so that we can identify c small and c greater in the two ranges. So. We can write like that. So that is uh, we write in two parts of zero to c pi, and now uh, and in this range, uh, c is greater than c pi. So c smaller is uh, c smaller is c pi. Uh, c smaller is c is c greater than c pi. So we can actually because for the first term from zero to c pi, the c, c small uh, is c, so we can, uh, the c greater is c pi, so it doesn't involve in the integration, we can pull that out. So that uh, that is equal to sinh of k times c minus c pi, and then integrate from zero to c pi, so now you only have two two factors, sinh kz and then sine of alpha c dc. So that's the first factor, right? A first range, so zero to c pi. The other range is from c, c pi to uh, c pi to a c. So over this range, c is greater than z pi, so c more smaller is z pi, so we can pull that out. So we have sinh k z pi, it is integrating from z pi to c, and you have sinh k c minus c, and sine of alpha c dz. Okay, so uh, now the integral only have two f functions, two, two factors, uh, okay? So that would be a little easier, except that one is sinh, the other is sine. But uh, one way to simplify that is the, to use just one function because sine and sinh actually are related to each other. They're just changing the argument from real to imaginary. So like a sine of alpha c is just sinh of i times alpha c divided by i. Okay, if we can do that, so, so both will be sinh if we divide it by i here. So this become i alpha z. 
likewise this big I of C. Okay. And because they are product of the singe, then uh, we can use the product formula of, of uh, the singe function. So this product formula is like that. So this right here is a singe of A times singe of B is just uh, one half of cos of A plus B minus cos of A minus B. Okay, so this is the formula to use. Okay, use this uh, to simplify that up to you change sign to singe. Okay, so and so the first one is singe of uh, this, whatever the factor outside of the integram. So this is uh, divided by i. And we need to be divided by two also because this formula has a one half here. So divided by two, two i. Okay, so this is uh, for the first integral. And uh, actually I write down the integration first. So C integrating C to C pi, and the product has two terms. So we have cos of, now it's, uh, you have the first term is K, actually K, the other is I over K plus I over times C. So that's, that's the cos term, okay. So that's the, the first one. And then minus the one cos of k plus k minus i over minus i over times c. And okay, so that's uh, that's that one and DC. Oh, so that's that's the first term. Now you do the same thing for the second term. So you press uh, sinh of k c pi divided by two i integrate from c pi to c. So again, you have two terms. One is cos of um, so this plus that, so you have K, C, all right, so you have this one plus this, so K, C times, let's just say like uh, K times C plus like C minus C minus Z, and then plus I over, okay, and then minus cos of, K times C minus Z minus I of DC. Okay, so just use the form this formula. Okay, so you so got that. So now uh, the integram is simple because all are cos, and you can integrate it wide array and get the to get the Sinh function out, okay? So, can do that. So, so copy the coefficient in front. Okay, and now you have two terms. The first term becomes Sinh, but then uh, you need to divide it by one over K plus I over and then you have singe of uh, this function evaluate zero to C pi. And because it's a singe, so this evaluate zero is uh, zero. So you only have the upper limit. So it becomes uh, K plus I alpha times C pi. Okay, so that's the first term. Now the second term is the same, so minus one over K minus I over sinh of 
k minus i of uh, times c pi. So that's the first term. Now the second term is do the same, except that uh, now you have both the limit uh, uh, not apparently zero because it's from c, c pi to c. So we need to keep both the upper and, lip, uh, and lower limit. So you have such k z pi divided by two i. Now the the integrated becomes sinh of that, but it divided by this uh, divided by the uh, there's a z here i over c, not just i over i over c. Right. Otherwise, you don't integrate. So I obviously. So you have uh, for the C term, you have actually this one's a minus k or minus k minus I of. So you need to uh, divide by minus of one over k minus I of. So that's the factor in front of C. Okay, and then you have uh, two terms, one is sinh, and evaluate that at, uh, at uh, z, equal, z equal to c, so the first will be c zero, so the, the other one is i over times c, so that's the integrating this one, the upper limit will give you this one, but then we remember a sinh of i over c is just proportional to sine over c, but sine over c is zero. So this term is actually zero. Okay. So now we get the lower limit. Lower limit is c pi. So it minus the same thing. Uh, now this is lower limit. So uh, the same factor, but then uh, you change the, change the plus sign because it's in the lower limit. One of k minus i over the sinh of. So uh, this one evaluate at uh, evaluate eval is z equals c pi. So so it becomes k times c minus c pi plus i over c pi. Okay, so that take care of this integral. So this becomes just this one. All right, so for the lower one, uh, for the second term in the in the second integral, so we we'll need to do the same thing. And uh, now the is in the minus sign the, the factor in front of in front of z is minus k minus i over. So you need to divide it by that, then you have an extra minus sign, so it becomes plus, uh, plus one over k plus i over. And now look at the upper limit first. Upper limit is c becomes c, so get rid of that. That becomes sinh of i over c, so again, it becomes sin sinh of uh, that's become minus i over c minus i over c but sine over c sine over c c sine over c and minus i over c is the same just the negative sign so this is also zero okay and then uh, the last term is uh, just uh, the same thing, but now is the lower limit, so you minus minus one over k plus i over the sinh of uh, this one. It really is z equals c equals c pi, so it's k c minus c pi. Now it's become minus i over c pi. Okay, so, so all together you have uh, these this terms, okay. 
Now you uh, now to simplify all these so all these terms, you can do a common denominator. So this is one over k plus i alpha. This is one over k minus i alpha. So you multiply the two together, become k square plus alpha square. Okay, and then the uh, then this term multiplied by k minus i alpha. This term multiplied by k plus i alpha. And we can group the uh, coefficient k in front and then alpha in front. So, and then uh, try to separate uh, whatever multiplied by k and whatever multiplied by i alpha, and do the same thing in the for the for second term. So let's do that. So let's see. So we have sinh k times c minus c pi over 2i. But then you take the common denominator, it becomes k squared plus i plus alpha square. Okay. All right, so now uh, after you do the common denominator, you have k, right? k times this one minus uh, k times this one, so k this one minus that one, okay? And then now, uh, so, uh, Let's write down so k uh, k times the sinh of this one minus sinh of that one. Now you can use uh, another vector uh, as, as identity of of sinh function. So uh, so you have sinh. This is cos minus cos, right? So uh, there's an, another identity is sinh, uh, uh, sinh A and cos, cos B. Okay, let me look at this. You have sinh A and cos B. I mean, this is sinh plus sinh. Uh, this is sinh plus sinh, so you have a Sinh here and then another sinh here. Actually, we do the common denominator is subtracting, so we can uh, find this sinh. That's right, right here. So you have sinh of a minus sinh of b. That equals to uh, two times. Sincha A minus B over two times cos A plus B over two. Okay, so that's a another uh, identity related to sinh function, so the subtraction of the two sinh function. So the first term is k times this one minus that one. So uh, then uh, you get a factor of two, so you can cancel with this factor of two in the outside of the factor. So, and then uh, you have the sinh of, you have this, this term, so sinh of this one, minus this one divided by two. So when you subtract the two K cancel, this one minus that one become two I alpha and divided by two becomes uh, just I alpha. So it becomes sinh of I, sinh S I N H of uh, I alpha times C pi. Okay, so, uh, so that is uh, the k term. So you just subtract the 
to, and I actually not done yet. I have a course to, course term with uh, this, course term of this plus that, this one plus that one. So over two, so to cancel I over become just K times, K times C, K times C pi. Okay, so that's the course term. Now the I over term, so this one multiply that, so you have minus I over. So minus I over, and this times that you have a plus I over. So minus I over, minus I over, so it becomes a both, a both a minus I over, so minus I over. And then this one plus that one. So basically we are just, uh, just changing that, so becomes a basically interchanging the two. So you have minus i over, and then sinh of sinh of k times c pi. So basically, this term becomes this term, and then uh, cos of uh, I alpha C pi. Okay, so that that give you this the first term. Okay, and we need to do the same thing for the second term. Okay, so and then plus sinh of k times C pi divided by I. So we're expecting to cancel the two. So now do the same thing. Common denominator out, so I have k squared plus alpha squared here. And for this one, you multiply by k plus i alpha. This one, you multiply by k minus i alpha. So it's this one minus that one. For the k term, it's this one minus that one. So k. So, so this one minus that one. And so that will give you, um, so, so this one minus that, this sinh minus that sinh will cancel with this one. So we only have the sinh of uh, I alpha C pi. So sinh of I alpha. Sinh of I over C pi, sinh. Okay, so, and then cos of uh, this one plus this one, right? Cos of this one plus this one cancel the I over C pi, so it's only cos of this one, cos of k times c minus c pi. Okay, so that's that one. And for the i alpha term, so you have a, this becomes multiplied by k plus i alpha, so your i alpha, this becomes k, multiplied by k minus i alpha, so you have my, minus minus is plus i alpha, so you have plus i alpha. Uh, so, so you have uh, uh, the situation is just like what we did before. So you have a uh, so so i alpha times this one and and minus my plus i alpha. So this one plus this one. So this one plus this one. So it's like, just so basically if you have a plus, you basically change B to minus B. So this is A plus B and so sinh of A plus B. So you have sinh of A plus B. So, so cancel of this one. So the situation is changing the two. So sinh of uh, K C times C pi. Okay. And this, 
cause of this mindless death is uh, becomes cause of I alpha C pi. Cause of I alpha C pi. Okay, so and uh, now this is still seems uh, complicated, but uh, it's better because uh, we have both the same factor in front i k squared plus alpha squared in the denominator. So you have all these terms, right? So uh, one thing you can do this cinch i alpha c pi and divided by i, you can identify that as a sign. So this becomes sine alpha c pi. Likewise, this is sine alpha c pi. Okay, and then uh, uh, yeah, for the other term, uh, we can compare this one and that one. So you have sin k c pi multiplied by this sin k z minus c pi. So this one multiplied by that one is the same as sin k z pi times sin r k times c minus c pi. So this two factor is the same. The cost term is the same. Now the coefficient, this is minus i alpha, this is plus i over and plus plus i alpha. So this two term is exactly the same. So you can cancel this two term. This one cancel with this one. Okay, so that uh, comes out much better. Now this sinh i alpha z becomes sine alpha z divided by i becomes sine. Now you have sinh and cos and plus sinh and cos of the reversing the argument. And we can have another uh, identity. So use another identity, sinh of a plus b is equals to sinh a, sinh a cos b plus sinh b cos a. So one more identity, okay? So uh, you identify this uh, sinh a cos b, so a plus b is this plus that, you cancel kz pi and become kz, okay? And this is sinh b, this is b is cos a, this is a. So, so all the combining this and that, will give you just sinh a plus b. So each sinh a plus b is the sinh times k times c. It's a sinh k. Let me write better. Sin of k times c. Okay. And the rest is this k factor in front. And this becomes sine. This becomes sine of alpha c pi and divided by k square plus alpha square. Okay, and get rid of the i because changing sin to uh, sin to sine, changing this to the. So this would this is the final result, and then we compare with what we try to do at first. We try to show it equals the k sin k z times. Uh, times, uh, no, 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 this is what, uh, uh, no, no, I, I think I, I probably, uh, wrote this, uh, differently. Uh, let's, let's look at Jackson's, uh, 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 this is sinh. Let's see, it's uh, this uh, because I got a sign instead of a sinh. Uh, supposedly, let me look at that uh, first. Okay, I figured that out now. So this, when I say this, this is a coefficient. So this is a sign instead of sin. So I wrote it wrong. So this is a sign. So get rid of the H. 
the sign. We want to show this one equals to this one, and then so this is a sign. Okay, this is a sign KZ over. Okay, equals this integral, and this integral after we do everything, we show it to be a sinh KZ and sine r over c prime divided by k squared plus r over squared. So you have a sine of KZ and I mean, I actually erased the, the other one. I actually erased this, erased this one. And this is singe. Because singe multiplied with the other sign, this sign, so sign alpha times C pi. Okay, so this one is uh, the same as this one. So uh, that is the, the integral that show that this is the correct Fourier series expansion. So uh, that's this discussion.